Mario has been on many grand adventures, with each one bringing something new to the table. In today's video, I am going to rank the 3D Mario games from worst to best and discuss their strengths and weaknesses. But remember, in the end all Mario games are good, most of the time. Before the video gets started, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss a video. With that being said, let's get started. In position number 8 we have Super Mario 3D Land. This game wasn't that bad to be honest, it was just that it was stuck on the 3DS so graphically it was horrible, I must say. And honestly, this did create a whole new like a world of possibilities for 3D Mario, but like, it's just not good as the um, open world 3D Mario games, or heck, even Galaxy and Galaxy 2, which are also linear like this game. The music in this game is pretty cool, I guess, not as good as the other games, definitely not as good as Galaxy, and its sequel, 3D World, did better. But it pretty much captures what a, a non-gamer would think about Mario music. This game is, yeah, once again not that bad, however it is the worst out of all the 3D Mario games. I really think Super Mario Sunshine is underrated, but god do the controls ruin it. And the secret courses of course. I think the courses were a bit too hard and combined with no flood, plus the awkward controls, it just felt kind of forced. Like, I had to do it. There was no choice. And that's why I'm not gonna complete this game. The level design in this game is really good, and of course the music as well. I really, really love the music. The iconic Delfino Glaza theme, the Super Mario um, Sunshine Secret Records theme, and more. I honestly just really, really like the music in this game. And I feel this is underrated, but at the same time I can understand why lots of people don't like it. And that's why it marks spot number 7 on my list. Super Mario 64 is an almost perfect game. Amazing level design, amazing music and honestly really fun to play. But what makes it rank so low on this list? For one, I don't have this nostalgic experience that most people do. I'm not from the 19th. And um, second of all, it just really feels clunky to play in today's modern day and age. Like, it's super clunky, kind of like Sunshine in a way. Sunshine's controls were worse though. And also, I mean, the textures, they are kind of bad. And I just don't feel this connection with the game like I do with, for example, Super Mario Odyssey. If I had played this game when it came out, I guarantee you it would have been way higher up. Maybe even top 3. But at the moment, for me, it's 6th place. So the reason Bowser's Fury is on this list is because it is a completely new 3D Mario experience, combining the more linear with the more open world. And I honestly really, really loved Bowser's Fury. It's just too short, but makes sense because it was an expansion for 3D World on the Switch. This um, game was basically, you know, it had linear areas like many sub areas like the ones you find in Odyssey, but all in one giant open world. And since technically this is all one world, it is the biggest level in a Super Mario game, which is pretty cool. The power-ups have returned from 3D World, and the main collective of this game is Cat Shines. And there's a total of 100 through the whole map, with only 50 being needed to complete the story mode. The music in this game is also really amazing. I absolutely love it, and the graphic quality is just amazing. I love this game so much. It was just too short, and 
you know, maybe it could have been a tiny bit more original. Like, it, the mechanics were all 3D world mechanics, like the level mechanics. Oh yeah, and of course there's Fury Bowser. Pretty much my favorite boss fight of all time. This game is just amazing, and if you haven't played it already, go check it out. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a masterpiece, just like its prequel Super Mario Galaxy, featuring the same sort of amazing level design, music, and graphics. Well, the graphics weren't that great because it was on the Wii, but you get my point. This game looks amazing. And it is amazing. So why isn't it in the top 3? Well, it didn't change that much from the Galaxy game. I mean, there were new power-ups, new galaxies and all, and I get this was supposed to be DLC for the original game. But when they decided to release this as its own game, they could have changed a few more stuff. I mean, this uses the same assets as Galaxy pretty much, like Lost Stars and all. They should have changed a couple of more stuff. I have no idea what they could have changed, but like, I have a feeling that there could have been more. Nevertheless, this game is still a masterpiece, a must play for any gamer in the world, and yeah. If you guys watched my channel trailer, you probably already know the next three games on this list. Let's start off with Super Mario 3D World, an amazing, spectacular game. I had so much fun playing this, it was just amazing, this level design is honestly amazing. I mean, it is based off of galaxies and 3D lands, and both of them had an epic, epic level design. This game adds uh, Green Star Collectible, so sort of like in Galaxy 2, except um, it has the use of coin medals in Galaxy 2, not like the Green Star missions or anything like that. And let's also talk about the music for 3D World. 3D World has some amazing tunes, like the Champions Road, which is a remix of Gusty Garden Galaxy from Get Mario Galaxy, and Super Bell Hill, the main theme of the game. And yeah, pretty much every song of this game is amazing. And I honestly love this game so much. I could replay it any day. Any day. And Champions Road is just an amazing final level with some epic game design. And that's why it ranks spot number 3 on my 3D Mario list. Wow, wow, wow. Super Mario Galaxy is just a masterpiece. Amazing level design, amazing music, I mean, it is the first Mario game to have an orchestra, and the music in this game is absolutely beautiful. I mean, Gusty Garden Galaxy, just wow, wow, wow. The galaxies in these games are really creative. My favorite galaxy is probably Free Slime Galaxy. It has the most unique game design in my opinion, combining fire and ice flower. It's just absolutely creative. This game laid, um, also laid some of the basic foundation for Super Mario Odyssey. Speaking of which, let's move on to number one. Super Mario Odyssey. Never have I ever had this much fun with a video game. I absolutely love this game. I love the level design. I love the graphics. I love the music. I love the gameplay. I love everything about this. I actually have an entire video planned called Why I Love Super Mario Odyssey. I think you can probably guess by now that Odyssey is my favorite game and probably will be for a long time. I just and in love with this game. It's amazing. It looks amazing. It feels amazing and happy. Oh my god. It, it's so creative. Mario's got an extended moveset with Cappy, and now even the capture controls and all, and that's just amazing. This game is just absolutely wonderful, and I'm never gonna ever forget the first time I ever played this game. It is a must have for anyone out there. Anyone. And that's all for Super Mario Odyssey.
So which one of these games is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and leave a like down below. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and have a nice day.